guys, so I'm coming to you from my new apartment. So I have officially moved in at school. If you guys didn't know this, I'm going into my junior year at college. Very exciting stuff, very stressful stuff, very becoming a grown-up stuff even though I'm not a grown-up whatsoever. But yeah, so just to kind of get me into the flow of being here and being in a new place and filming for you guys, I felt that I'd just go ahead and film. One, because I really need a video to share with you guys because it's been way too long since I posted one. And two, yeah, I just thought like better to go ahead and get started. This way I actually move forward with really getting comfortable filming here. So if you guys noticed, my filming setup is not really set up. The lighting right now is awful. I just have this giant window like putting natural light on this side of the face and then literally no light coming from this side of the face. So I look a little like a black and white cookie right now, but not black, just look darker. Um, so yeah, uh, that's really all that I have to say. So I thought that I'd just go ahead and kind of show you guys. I want to do like 10 cool things that I just have in my room. I told you guys I was going to do a home haul. But I think that that would be way too much stuff. So I'm just going to show you like 10 or so random but awesome things that I got from my room. I'm literally just going to look around, grab stuff, come into frame, show it to you, and that's going to be it for my first video here. Uh, just again, if this video is like not up to the standard that you guys like to hold my videos to and that I hold my videos to, forgive me, my next video will be better, I promise. The first object, I'd love to toss this into frame, but I would probably hurt myself. It is just this cool spiky ball. Um, my room scheme was like white, gold, and blue. So yeah, I picked up a lot of gold accessories because you can't really get gold furniture without it being really, really expensive. So I got this cool spiky thing and I thought that they had them at Target, could not find them there. And I happened to go in Home Goods and I found this and this really cool geometric shaped like globe thing but that was way too big for anywhere in my room. So I got this guy, and he's really pointy, really dangerous. Ja dangerous. 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 And yeah, but he's cool and he brings in a little bit of gold. This next little guy is a little aloe plant because everyone and their mother is obsessed with succulents right now. And I thought when I bought this that it was a succulent, I got it at Home Depot. It ended up being an aloe plant. But you know what? That's cool. I don't discriminate against plants. I already kind of tore off one of his little leaves though. So he's not too fond of me at the moment, but we're getting there. So far, everything that I've grabbed has been like in arms reach of me. So this next thing I got at Forever 21, and it is actually a garbage can, but it was gold. So I bought it and inside of it, I have put a blanket because I didn't want to use this cool gold bin as a garbage can. I wanted to use it as a blanket holder because I am obsessed with having blankets. So I wanted a place to like keep at least one of my blankets at all times. So this nice homemade blanket is actually another item in my room. And this was knit for me by a family member. And yeah, I just feel so loved with this blanket and it has all these different shades of blue. It's so pretty. So thank you. You know who you are that you made it for me if you ever see this video. But yeah, so that's another third and fourth item in my room right now. The next item in my room is one of oh, oh. the next item in my room which just scratched me in the face is this cool glass pyramid triangle thing. So Another thing that I really like at the moment is geometric shapes, which is why I got that like spiky thingy because that kind of goes with linear objects. So this is something I got from Urban Outfitters. I actually got this one technically on sale. So it scratched me because apparently, which I didn't know until just now, one of the glass sides opens and it has a mirrored bottom. So um, I think they're supposed to put jewelry in here. Let me know if you guys have one of these. Maybe I'll just get one of those fake little tea lights and put it in the middle. I think that could be really cool. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet, but it was like $10 and it was gold. So it went with my room scheme. And yeah, I got it. Object number five. Object number six, I actually have a ton of these and they're all filled with different things, but this is a mason jar. This one, I bought like a whole case of them, so this one happens to be filled with coffee. And every time they smell it, this doesn't for some reason smell like good coffee, it smells like nasty coffee. Um, and I bought all these coffee beans 
not to drink, but to actually fill my makeup brush containers with. But then I looked at the coffee beans and they looked kind of oily, which I guess was a specific kind of bean that I got. So if you guys have ever used coffee beans for DIY, let me know in the comments down below how I get rid of that. Object number seven is actually this picture mobile up here that I kind of just messed up and twisted around a lot. But I got that at Urban Outfitters and it's really cool. It just adds another little dimension to my room. I am quickly running out of interesting objects in my room, but this next item is a picture frame. And I actually have a ton of picture frames in my room, most of them hanging up on the wall. But this is one that I got at Anthropology. Doesn't exactly match my room scheme, but a cool picture frame nonetheless. It's green and it has a picture that I took in Italy of it, um, inside of it, but I think I'm gonna change that out. So, yeah. This next item, I did not intend on it being so big, but it is a giant poof and I just fell over. So this poop is from Anthropology, and I did not intend on getting such a giant poop, but I wanted one for the floor, um, and I am actually using this one as a desk seat, partially because I intended on it to be a desk seat, and partially because there was nowhere else in my room that such a large object could fit other than underneath my desk. Hence, it has become my desk chair. This object is actually one of the reasons why I thought that this would be a cool video idea, um, and I almost forgot to include it. Can you believe that? So this last item is this really cool gold geometric scarf holder. So it's actually a hanger that I have hanging up on the cool clothing rack thing that I've got going on that you guys will see at a later date in a room tour possibly. But this I got at the container store and it's really cool. So it's basically just an object that or it's a hanger that you hang up on something and you can loop like scarves or long tube socks through. I'm not really sure what else you could use it for. It fits the whole gold geometric shape obsession that I have going on right now and it's really cool and very soon it will be overflowing with scarves because I am an avid scarf wearer especially in the winter and it's gonna get cold fast. I know it's sad I'm a summer person till the end but it's a truth that it will get cold and I will need some scarves soon. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys liked this kind of randomness and almost haul because all this stuff was new and stuff that I had wanted to share with you guys eventually anyway. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what's going on in your life in the comments down below. Are you guys starting school? Are you moving into your first apartment? I've asked you guys that in like my last five videos, but I don't care. I'm going to ask you again. Tell me what is going on in the comments down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I occasionally post some cool stuff on both of those sites. And yeah, look forward to my next video, to the proper lighting and the excitedness of videos here. That won't matter to you guys probably so much, but it does to me. So I'll see you guys then. Bye!